for this evening. Hallelujah. Come on, can somebody give me praise today? Come on, he's doing better than doing that. Hallelujah. Can somebody give Jesus praise in the house this evening? For he is the mighty God, our wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. He is our Redeemer and Lord. Hallelujah. The lifter up of our heads. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we want to do right now is invite the presence of the Lord into this place. Is that all right? Well, the Bible declares that in his presence is the fullness of joy. At his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. That where the Spirit of the Lord is, that there's liberty. Hallelujah. That where two or more are gathered together in his name, that there he will be in the midst. Do you believe that with me? Hallelujah. So right now, we want to just lift our hands and open our hearts today and invite the very Spirit of God into this place. Hallelujah. And then when you stand all over the building, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Lord, Lord, we love you. We love you today. Oh, God, we just thank you right now. Hallelujah. For your power that's already here, Lord Jesus. For your presence that's already in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, oh, God, you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Lord, therefore we come today, oh God, not for shape, form, or fashion, God, but we come because you are Lord and you're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Oh God, you are fairest among 10,000. All together lovely. Hallelujah. The earth declares your glory. Hallelujah. All creation, God, we all rejoice ah, in your presence, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. For the forgiveness of sins today, oh God. Lord, we thank you for the shedding of your blood, whereby we are made sons and daughters today, oh God. We thank you that we are redeemed from death, hell, and the grave, oh God. The word declares, Lord, that you so love the world, hallelujah, that you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in on him should not perish, but have everlasting life.
Amen. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody bless his name today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The minister Mike is going to come. And we're going to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Somebody tell your neighbor, neighbor. I don't know about you, but I owe God this praise for everything that he's done for me. Hallelujah. I'm not ashamed to tell him thank you.
sanctuary.
in the name of the Lord Jesus to dedicate this ministry to the service of the gospel within the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. And how many know that the wages of sin is death? But the gift of God is eternal life. Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. This is the mandate that God has sent us out with to preach this gospel. Amen. To the uttermost parts of the world. And we've accepted that mandate. And we've, and we've committed ourselves to preaching this gospel hallelujah. no matter what. Amen. Hallelujah. So we just thank you for coming out this, this evening to celebrate with us as we commit our ways unto him. Everything, everything within us, we're going to give it to him. We're going to sow it into him. Believing that he's faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a faithful steward of what we entrust him with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to have Minister Susie Snowball. Want to come and bring us our scripture. Amen. Afterwards, I'm going to pray the heart. Just going to come and bring us prayer. And we want to ask this first Baptist in the house to minister. Amen. And we want to ask first Baptist of Hainville. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming. We're going to ask you to minister to us this song. Amen. Hallelujah. Give our hands to us. Amen. First Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. Somebody give my hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the way from Hainville, Alabama. Come on, somebody make a real welcome. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. 
Aleluia, Jesus. Hey, Amen. Y'all must love this man of God. Amen. To make that drive down here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. How many want the anointing to fall apart? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to. How many want the anointing of the Holy Ghost yeah. to descend in this place? Hallelujah. 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 This time we're going to prepare to receive our offering. Is that all right? What a nice thing. Ross, my brother Hodge, my two sisters. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in the store hall. Make reference to us not knowing uh, when we start out where we're going to wind up at. And she couldn't be more true. Amen. I mean, oh, we start out in life with our goals, our ambitions. But God has a way of meeting us on a master's road and with an assignment. Amen. He says he knows the plans that he has for us. Plans for good and not for evil. To give us a future and a hope. That he's declared our ending from the beginning. And he knows what's best for us. Amen. 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 Father God, right now we thank you for this opportunity to sow into your kingdom, oh God. Lord, we understand and stand upon your principles, your kingdom principles of seed time and harvest, God. Believing that surely in due season, we shall reap if we don't faint, oh God. We understand that as long as the earth remains, God, seed time and harvest. God, you also promise in your word, oh God. Lord, that if we bring all the tithe into the storehouse, God, that you would open the windows of heaven. And for our blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. You also promise, God, that you will cause men to give into our bosom good measure, press down, shaken together, and running over. Oh, God, it's these promises that we stand up for right now as we sow in obedience. Oh, God, believe it for 100 forward time, God, that you will be able to do exactly what you said. Now, God, bless those who I don't give, Father. Lord, bless those who have a desire, God, but not see. Give seed to the sower, God, as you promised. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Of Dr. Aaron D. McCall, amen.
Hallelujah. He is the pastor, senior pastor, First Missionary Baptist Church. Since about 2000. Amen. Hallelujah. The executive director of Faith in Action Outreach Ministries. Founder and presiding prelate of Second Chronicles 714. Prayer Warriors Boot Camp International. Hallelujah. He is a graduate of Auburn University, Montgomery. The Tuskegee University. Hallelujah. I had an opportunity to hear this man of God some years ago. I was down in Hopo at New Pleasant Valley AME Zion Church. And they had a slate of speakers who came and ministered to the people of God. And apparently they saved the best for last. Amen. This is my second time seeing him in white. He wore white that night also. Amen. But the gift that proceeded from this brother, the anointing in the place was so heavy. And the gift of prophecy works through him. Amen. I just, I'm, I'm just crazy enough to believe that just like this week, that God has a tailor-made, designed, specific word just for us in this house today. Amen. I believe that everyone who's here is supposed to be here. Hallelujah. I believe that it's a rhema. Hallelujah. I believe that something's going to change once it's released. I'm believing for the atmosphere to be changed in here. I'm believing for something to turn around. Harmonic selection, and the next one should be will be that of the mystery. Somebody praise God.
just like Bella Mobile, I don't mean by you, just um, Bella Ben. Now, 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 I do appreciate you applauding and recognizing the choir. But now I want you to give God some praise. <laughs> Just to see what the Lord is doing. 
And certainly when we are left here today, we will always be saying that it is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous. Come on. In our eyes. Amen. For greater dastardly which of sinner has been fearfully. Huh? And wonderfully made. Do I have a witness in here? In sundry times, God spoke to us by the prophets. Huh? But now he has spoken to us through his son, Jesus. And Jesus declared that upon this rock, anybody here, that I will build my church and the very gates of hell shall not prevail against it. One day Jesus was walking in and his disciples were with him and he looked out in the this in the congregation and in the countryside and he said, you know, look at the harvest. It's right for the harvest. Huh? Then he said to the disciples, go pray to the Father. Huh? That he may send the workers into the vineyard. Huh? And with this greater destiny worship center, evidently you heard the call. Amen. And now you hear to say, Here am I. Yes, Lord. Lord, send me. Huh? Amen. And I pray, Brother McCoy, that God enlarges your territory. Amen. 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 And 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 with destiny, I pray that God would take you to higher heights and deeper death. Praise the Lord. I even decree and declare that God gives you your community. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. See, y'all don't know what this shout. Amen. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar with this vineyard back here. Yeah. Huh? And, and, and this vineyard needs a new destiny. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. We need a deliverance. Yeah. Can I get I want to tell y'all there's another church already happening. Hallelujah. But when God needs somebody to stand in the gap and do some delivery, yeah. oh, I just wish somebody would help me out just for a little while. Yeah. Amen. Now, now, I don't mind you saying amen. Praise the Lord. And I certainly don't mind you clapping your hands and giving God some glory in the house. Yes, Pastor, the last time, last time you saw me, I, I was not bishop. Praise the Lord. Amen. But God Steadily elevating. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And God is still calling us. And can I say to you, Pastor, that keep in mind that God is calling for the authentic church. Yes. I'm going to say it again. Amen. God is calling for the authentic church. Can somebody say Amen. nothing like the real thing? Amen. Uh -huh. Now you can, think, you can think about that all you want any way you want to. He said that he's coming back. Huh? Uh -huh. At a church without spot or blemish or wrinkle, depending on which one you're reading. Huh? But I'm afraid today, brothers and sisters, that if God would have came to come back today, he wouldn't recognize the ecclesia. Huh? Because they got everything going on up in here. A musician is going to let me by myself. Uh, oh, there he is. Praise the Lord. Come on back, fella. <laughs> no, no, don't leave me too far. Hallelujah. But I, I, I'm trying to get us to understand, y'all. God is calling for the church. He's looking for his body. The word of God says the eyes of the Lord is going true. And fall. Yeah. He's searching. Yes. Huh? And it goes on to say that that the Lord God is a spirit. Hmm? Amen. And he that worship him yeah. must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Go with me if you got your words. I'm not going to hold you much longer than that because I feel Jesus. I feel 
Jesus. Hallelujah. In this house, and I invite, I invite the direction and unction of the Holy Ghost to move in this place. Yes, Lord. So if you have your Bible, go with me to 1 Corinthians, if you will, chapter 1. And when you get there, say, Amen. Amen. Chapter 1, drop down to verse number 10, if you don't mind. Since this is a ministry dedication. Amen. I learned, dear hearts, that when you have been given an assignment, you keep the assignment. Today is not a time for a pastor or bishop or call to show off his preaching skills. There's not, 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 not a service for that. There's not a service for me to out hoop peoples and tone it and the rest of them that was here this week. Amen. My job now is to instruct the ministry. Do I have a witness? There are absolutely too many folk jumping out, y'all, trying to do things that they have not been instructed to do. Yeah. Huh? That's why you have so many of them coming up and falling down and not accomplishing anything. Huh? Because they are trying to handle something that they don't know how to handle. Amen. Stay with you if you don't mind. Let's look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 10 down to verse number 13. And I want us to read it together. It does not matter. It does not matter what, 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 what version that you are uh, a reading from praise the Lord so long as it's lived with Jesus. Amen? Amen. Verse number 10. Can we read? Now I beseech you, brother. I don't hear you. By the word. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 